David Brewster here, another three for all. This is three Steve Lynch licks from 1988, and we're going to be talking about the band Autograph. And I've had some requests to feature some of Steve's music and the music of Autograph, and I'm finally getting around to it now. But Autograph formed in Pasadena, California in 1983, and they had three albums from 1984 until about 1987, and they broke up, and then they reformed in the late 90s and broke up, and reformed and broke up and reformed and broke up. So Steve's kind of been in and out of the Autograph picture, you know, for quite a while, since the 90s. I don't think he's currently working with the group right now, but he's definitely a legend of rock guitar, tapping, and guitar educational material, and all sorts of stuff. You know, a monster player. I've always found it interesting that a lot of guitarists have been labeled Van Halen clones simply by tapping on their guitar. And really, you know, Steve has kind of fallen in this too. Of course, Autograph did tour with Van Halen on the 1984 tour. And I think a lot of people saw Steve tapping, and they just thought, oh, he's ripping off Van Halen. But technically, Steve had been refining and developing these techniques for a long time. And he had a book that was published in the early 80s, and he had two additional volumes of that in the 80s that were released. And that was called The Right Touch, you know, volume one, two, and three. And then he also had an REH video, uh, The Two-Handed Guitarist. And, you know, like I was mentioning earlier, he really is kind of a pioneer in guitar education and instructional material because Steve has been pushing out, you know, this uh, instructional material for a very, very long time. The licks in this lesson actually came from Steve's old REH video, The Two-Handed Rock Guitarist, and I think it's actually out of print. I did see some uh, copies on VHS that were available on eBay, but I don't think this video actually made the jump to DVD, so I think it's just kind of lost in limbo out there. But it's a really cool video. It's kind of a classic, you know, REH video. And this lesson's all tapping, and that's kind of Steve's forte and one of the things he's really known for. And there's some really cool and kind of left field ideas, you know, hiding in this lesson. So if you're a tapper, get ready, because there's some really cool stuff lying around in this lesson. But the first look's pretty basic. It's basically a tapped E minor pentatonic scale, and it's something like this. <laughs> coming down, you know, with your fret hand and you're just playing the box right there like that. And then the tap notes are basically the higher end of the next position of E minor pentatonic. So you're starting on that A and then E and then B and so on like this. flies down that scale. It definitely is noticeably, you know, minor pentatonic, but it definitely has this blurry kind of sound because you're tapping too. The next idea is actually a continuation of the first one. So this is Lick 1B, and it's basically a sequenced E minor pentatonic tapped run like this. One more time. And then we're basically just coming down three and then going up one and then going down three more, like this. So there's three. One, two, three. Go up one and then go down three more. Like that. Next we have some tap triads, and we recently looked at triads in the Acoustic Guitar Chords episode of Chord Play, and also the Soloing Secrets episode with David Gilmore. Both those lessons are heavy on triads, and here we are tapping triads with Steve Lynch. And we're in G major, and Steve's basically playing with this G triad right here, and this one, and this one, and this one. But he's not playing them like that, he's tapping through these. So you're gonna grab this, you know, partial G right there and then tap out of the next, you know, triad right here. And then grab that D form and then tap the G right here. And then hold that G form and tap the G right there. 
just found that really interesting that, you know, Steve was tapping the same triads we had in the acoustic guitar chords episode and the David Gilmour soloing secrets. So that's really interesting. See? And here's a continuation of that idea. So this is like 2B and it's a tapped chord progression. So we're moving from G to D to A minor back to G. And we're gonna do that like this. So grab this, you know, D form for G right there and then tap right above it like this. And then change that to D major right here. And then A minor right here. G major. But I really find that really cool, you know, to have this like kind of two-handed triad approach. And you could move that through any chord progression and you could change keys, obviously move it away from G major. But I really like that idea of tapping, you know, tapping through those triads. Then we're going to go to a D major, okay. Then we're gonna go up to an A minor. Back to a G major. Here's another tap triad idea, and this time we're string skipping, and this is wicked. It's really cool, like this. basically grabbing, well, it's, it's basically E major to B major, and then D major to A major, but we're not doing it like that, you know, that, which that's basically what's going on. We're doing it like this, so we're basically fretting with the fret hand, you know, B and E right there on the high E and G, and then you're tapping E and G sharp with your right hand, or for pick hand. basically do the exact same thing just over on the next set of strings. So now grab this F sharp and B and you're going to tap B and that D sharp right there. And then move everything we just did down a whole step and do it again. And there's D major right there. And then move over and there's A. And that's such an unusual lick. I haven't seen very many players, you know, fretting one note and tapping one note and string skipping like that, but it's really cool. Here's a bonus lick, and this came from Steve's Hammerhead guitar solo, which is on the Autograph album, That's the Stuff, and it's this chromatic, you know, multi-fingered tapping idea. Really cool, like this. Almost sounds like Buckethead or somebody, but one more time. Right there, we're basically playing with this. Which it's like a G6 at 11 implied. But we're doing it like this. So your right hand and your left hand are basically mimicking the same pattern. You're grabbing that G, C, and G right there. And you're tapping this B, uh, E, and B right there. And when you put that together, it basically is implying you know, that G6 at 11 right there. 
So you want to basically do that three times and you're going to move everything down one fret, do it one more time and then move it down one more fret and do it three more. So you're doing this three and one kind of shift like this. <laughs> You can actually move that down as far as you want to, but I just kind of stopped it right there. But that's such an unusual, and it sounds like Buckethead, like I said, but such a weird, you know, left field idea, but I love it. See, three times. One, three. One, three. All right, that's going to wrap this episode of Three for All with three Steve Lynch licks from 1988. And Steve's a dynamite guitarist, just loaded with all these great ideas. And I hadn't watched his instructional video for a long time. And then when I started putting this together, I found it again and I watched it and I thought, man, I forgot all those cool licks that were hiding in there. So Steve's got a bunch of cool ideas hiding up his sleeve. And he's one of those players, you know, like, you know, some people definitely know Autograph and know his name. Other people don't really know his name. And don't make the same mistake I made when I was a kid. I thought Steve Lynch and George Lynch were related. I thought they were brothers or cousins or something. Of course, I was just a dumb kid and I didn't know. But I was like, well, they both play guitar and the last name's Lynch. But definitely Steve Lynch and George Lynch are polar opposites as far as their style. But they're both great guitarists from the 80s. Anyway, leave some feedback and comments. Please subscribe to Night Lessons, and I'll be back before you know it with more content and material. Thank you.